Have you ever pondered what lies beyond the ordinary? The opening of the third eye unveils a realm of extraordinary encounters. Some are blissful, while others may challenge your perceptions. In this exploration, we delve into the myriad experiences that accompany the awakening of the third eye. Whether you've already embarked on this journey or are yet to discover, understanding these experiences is essential. Stay tuned as we uncover the mysteries of the third eye and shed light on the experiences that lie beyond its awakening. Whether you're a seasoned seeker or just beginning your quest, prepare to be enlightened. How to know that you awakened your third eye? You can be assured that your third eye is awakened if you close your eyes and can see white, blue, purple colors, intense white dots, black sky with numerous stars, the shape of the eye, square, circle, some other shape filled with blue or purple color. These are all signs that you've awakened your third eye. If you feel the pressure or some activity in your third eye chakra, that means that your third eye is being awakened and soon you'll be able to see with it. What to expect after the third eye opening? Don't be surprised that when you awaken your third eye, you'll start getting unusual experiences. That especially has to do with your sight. When you're tired and you're about to sleep or you just relax and close your eyes, you may suddenly get all kinds of images in your mind's eye. Some of them won't make any sense, some of them will be very vivid, others will be blurred. There are all kinds of dimensions out there and with your third eye opened you'll be able to pick up on them. The higher vibration you offer, the higher developed worlds you'll be able to explore. If what you see is blurred it means your spiritual powers are still weak and you can't see non-physical things clearly. Higher versus lower dimensions. If your vibration is low, you may get to see the dimensions where restless souls stay. By restless souls I mean the souls of people who committed suicides and couldn't forgive themselves for having done that. They're afraid to be judged by someone, so they stay between this world and higher dimensions. This, of course, is not the best dimension to choose to see, but if you find yourself viewing such dimension, you should understand that you offer the vibration that attracts such sights. Although I have never seen lower dimensions, some people who saw them became scared and started regretting their third eye opening. Such people contact me asking what to do because they're scared of these sights. All I can advise is to try to raise their vibration, because only then they'll be able to see higher dimensions. If you want to close your third eye, you can do so also. For this you need to ground yourself. You can do so by eating heavy food, playing team sports, talking to worldly people and avoiding spiritual practices for the time being. Warning. If you discontinue your spiritual practices it may take a very long time to get your spiritual powers back, if you developed any. If you offer a very high vibration, that of peace, love, gratitude and happiness you'll be able to see more developed worlds than the one in which we live. You'll know that you picked up on this kind of dimension if you see very vivid light colors and when the air seems to be full of golden light. Golden slash white colors will be the main ones in these dimensions. Sometimes it may seem to you that you get information overload, and you may not be able to tune out of these dimensions, they'll keep shifting through your eyes, sometimes really fast, different images may pass through you every second. Because you're new to this experience, you may not know how to switch off the third eye sight, so that might scare you. Don't be afraid when that happens because all you should do is to open your eyes. You can also listen to the pleasant music before going to sleep and focus slash touch something physical and that should turn off the third eye sight. Sensitivity to energies. After your third eye awakening you'll become more sensitive to the energies of other people. You'll be able to pick up on both good and bad energies. It's beneficial to pick up on good energies that others are offering, because they affect you positively. 
However, you'll pick up on bad energies too. For example, if some person is angry and she looks at you, you're likely to get affected. That's why spiritual people sometimes get drained after spending some time in a crowded area. There are too many bad energies out there, and when you become more spiritual, you become more sensitive to such energies. There are a few things you can do to reduce the harm of such energies. You can use some protection when you feel that you're among negative people. Such protection can be imagining that you're surrounded by white or golden, or both, light and imagining how their negative energy cannot get through that light. This is a very useful technique. That always protects personal gravity field. You can also use another great technique that will benefit you in numerous ways. When you come home and take the shower, try to shower with cool water. Not too cold, but not as warm as you're used to. Now imagine that the water that goes on you is washing away all the bad energies that you picked up today. See in your mind's eye the water picking up such energies and taking them down with it. When you do this exercise for a couple of days in a row, you'll feel a huge relief during and after the shower. The time you spend in the shower may become the most pleasurable one. Don't be surprised if after the shower you'll become extremely happy or inspired to do something. That's the result of removing negative energies from your body. You should try doing this activity every day for you to feel the full benefits of this technique. When you do this every day you'll notice a huge difference in your daily energy levels. You'll be much more energetic and focused throughout the day because there will be no negative energies disrupting your routine. Your health will improve significantly and your life quality will improve too. Your relationships, sleep, work and state of mind will improve to a great extent. Other third eye-opening experiences. After your third eye opening you may get very strong vibrations in your body that may really scare you. It surely scared when it happened to me the first time. I had no idea what's happening with me and I suspected that I'm about to have an OBE, out of body experience, because I read that something similar happens before such experience. However, if you stay calm and just let the vibration overtake you, it will pass. During this vibration you may be able to see with your third eye or, if you still didn't awaken it, this experience may open your third eye. I was able to get a glimpse only into higher dimensions, with beautiful houses and golden sunny days. The view that I get when I look through my third eye is a very interesting one. For example, I may see a detail of the house, for example, two windows of the house and an edge of the roof and the sky. It's as though I am looking through a telescope. There's a pitch black color on the edges, and in the middle I see some sight. Usually I see still objects, like houses and also people, creatures similar to people, nothing scary, trust me. I usually get a glimpse into the worlds that are very similar to that of ours. So people are similar and where they live is similar to where we live. I'm not sure why I get only these experiences, I suspect that it's because I'm not ready to view very different worlds to that of ours. As I mentioned earlier, you may also get a sight of a black sky with many stars. If you get such view it means that you got into the fourth dimension and that you may get into different worlds from this place. I cannot be any more clearer than this because I still didn't manage to clearly get into different worlds from this place. How long it takes to experience the third eye opening. The time it takes to open your third eye is different for everyone. If you were spiritually advanced in previous lives, or were trying to advance spiritually, it may take a very short while for you to experience your third eye opening. For me it took only around a week to do that, you may need to wait from a week to two months for your third eye opening experience, sometimes even longer. Conclusion I hope that I didn't discourage you from the third eye opening. Although the experiences that you'll get after your third eye awakening are quite different from what you experience in this physical world, 
if you keep your vibration high you won't see anything of negative nature. Therefore you should stay as positive as you can every day and if you do that you'll definitely enjoy the sights that you get because of your third eye. If you're ready to open your third eye, stay tuned. Third Eye Chakra Out of the main seven chakras third eye chakra is one of the most important ones. Your third eye gives you an opportunity to experience different dimensions without having to leave your body. This is the easiest way to see other dimensions which your physical sight cannot perceive. You see through your eyes the physical world and you also have the ability to see the spiritual world through your third eye chakra. Third eye chakra has the purple or indigo color, however some people even see very dark, almost black eye. The eye doesn't even have to be shaped like an eye, although this is the most common shape. Some people see the third eye chakra shaped like a square or a star. You can also see a realistic eye or just a shape filled with indigo or purple color. If you don't get enough source energy it will be quite hard for you to open your third eye. You can get an abundance of universal energy by meditating. When you meditate you get universal energy through your crown chakra into your whole body. Usually people experience their third eye when they meditate, and that certainly happened to me too. Through meditation you can get many experiences which include the awakening of energy, nervous system cleansing and the opening of the third eye chakra. When you meditate your third eye may show itself to you without you even trying. However, if you consciously want to see it, you should, during meditation, concentrate on your third eye area, between your brows. However, you should not focus on this area too intensely. You just have to be aware of that area. When you concentrate on your third eye area, you'll start feeling a tingling sensation or a slight pressure or vibration in that area. This always means that the third eye chakra is awakening, no matter how small pressure or vibration you're experiencing. After some days, or even the same day of you trying to see the third eye, you may start seeing the colors of it. You may straight away become aware of your third eye, but that doesn't happen often. Usually people start seeing blurry shapes and colors of gray, white, purple and indigo before the actual sight of the third eye chakra. The more you meditate and practice, the stronger colors get and then you'll finally be able to see your third eye. If you don't feel any vibration when you concentrate on the third eye, but you see colors of your third eye straight away, that means your third eye is already awakened. This usually happens to people who are very spiritually advanced. Therefore you don't need to try hard to develop spiritually, everything happens very quickly and naturally. When you see your third eye, you should concentrate on the middle of it or on the most intensely colored part of it. This way you'll get a glimpse of other worlds because you'll be sucked into the fourth dimension. When that happens, you may feel being physically drawn to it, or you may feel vibration slash pressure in your body. Don't get scared, this is perfectly normal. When you're getting sucked into the fourth dimension, you may experience your journey as going through a tunnel. I personally saw a black tunnel and a beautiful purple light at the end of it. I was being sucked in very fast and I would constantly emerge from different tunnels. When you concentrate on the light at the end of the tunnel, this pushes you forward and you can visit different worlds in different dimensions. When you open your third eye chakra you become more spiritually sensitive because your aura gets a purple color. With time you'll be able to strengthen your personal gravity field so that you would be protected from the harmful energies of others. With the opening of your third eye chakra your sixth sense sharpens and you become more in tune with the universe. Your personal traits may not change much, but you'll have a greater knowledge of this world and others. Your eyesight lets you see the world through limiting beliefs, therefore you only see a small picture of the real world. Your third eye chakra doesn't have such filters, therefore you see the reality as it really is. Conclusion You'll benefit in many ways if you decide to awaken your third eye chakra. Your sixth sense will sharpen, 
therefore you'll become more sensitive to what's happening in your reality. You'll also become more present in your daily activities which will empower you to complete them in a more effective way. When you open your third eye chakra, you'll be able to see other dimensions whilst being in your physical body. This will give you a better understanding of who you are and what your life's purpose is.